What is up there everyone? Welcome to another video here on my YouTube channel. In this video, I like to introduce you to a very fun way to increase your emotional intelligence. Whenever I introduce this way actually to people, they're always surprised, first of all, how fun it is. And secondly, that they have never tried it many times before. So what is this fun way to increase your EQ or your emotional intelligence? Well, it is using this here. So before I explain this, uh, let me just uh, take one minute to say a few things. First of all, it's pretty clear maybe for some what the benefit is of increasing your emotional intelligence. But just to give uh, a few seconds um, of reasons why it is pretty good to increase it. Having a higher emotional intelligence, first of all, helps to understand your own emotions better, right? You can better place them, you can better understand why they are triggered maybe by some kind of event. And with that, you can better make decisions on those emotions. But then, of course, it greatly helps as well to understand the emotions and the feelings of other people. And this way you can improve your romantic relationships, have a better partner relationship with someone, or your friendships, or co-workers. You know, there's so many relationships, your family, whatever. There's so many relationships that we all have in our life. And having a higher emotional intelligence can dramatically improve the quality with each one of them. One last thing before I introduce you to this fun way is uh, this is something very interesting thing uh, that maybe some of you also might know uh, but that I just want to make clear is that your emotional intelligence just like your general intelligence just like your muscles for example they're not fixed. Yes there are people who are you know who, who can more easily build muscles who have a be better body type who are genetically better at building muscles, you know, or who have a higher general intelligence, who are better at mathematics, whatever, or who are better at emotional intelligence. Yes, you have people who are naturally better at it, but that does not mean that, you know, anyone can increase it. Throughout your whole life, your brain is plastic and you can always change the architecture of your brain. So you can deliberately do something to increase your emotional intelligence and one way and let me now come to this here one way is through introducing your life to a game like this this is a card game um from a company called the end they have like eight boxes so this is the friends edition this is the couples edition and in each box there is 199 cards with questions all the questions the 199 questions are very 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 thoughtful questions that just that require some time to think about some time to feel and to formulate your emotions in words and with that you gradually increase your emotional intelligence and just to give you an idea let me just go through three questions uh, let me just take three random ones out so here's one do you think um and this is the friends edition do you think i'm sexually satisfied why or why not Another one. Who do you think I should go to for mentorship? And last one that I just want to share. What's a memory from your childhood you most want to forget? Now, as you can see, these are just three random cards that I take, uh, took out of this uh, box here. These are questions that many times you would not think about yourself. Therefore, first of all, it can significantly improve your romantic relationship if you play this with your boyfriend or girlfriend or spouse and your friends you know or your family um because there's also a family edition that you can play with your family then uh, so it can significantly improve your relationship with with those people and it can significantly then increase your emotional intelligence as well because these questions require you to go much deeper because they are more complex questions not per se but more deeper questions that require you some time to think and to figure out your emotions and to formulate them into words and the more you do this the better you get at formulating your emotions and understanding your own emotions with that 
And by listening to other people explain their emotions, um, you get better also at understanding other people's emotions. Now, the great thing actually about this that it is a game is that it actually could make it much easier to, to take this step and to introduce it to someone, to say like, hey, this is a game, you want to play it. That could make it more comfortable to uh, introduce this to someone and to, uh, yeah, eh, use this in your life. There's also a couple of other ways that I think are actually really fun to use this. So there's also the Strangers edition. I don't have it, but I actually would love to buy it. And I think having that box with you when you travel, for example, long term or just in general, when you travel around. I've met so many great uh, and really interesting people that I actually think it would have been so awesome if I had that box with me to play it with them. Because uh, it's a great way to just really, yeah, deepen your your relationship uh, with that person. And it's also kind of a great icebreaker, maybe, to uh, to walk up to someone and say, like, hey, you look like a fun person. Do you want to play this game with me and to get to know each other? Uh, another thing I think why having this box um, is also great, uh, or one of those boxes, is for a first date, for example. They also have a box for first dates. So I think that's actually... If you want to make your date more original, this could be an amazing way to do that, actually. And then you can kind of more easily know if the, the person that you're dating with is a potential person to date more or not, or that you're more meant to be friends or just depart from each other. I've actually done that a couple of times that I took the Friends edition with me uh, to a date and that I played uh, this game and it was uh, always really, really fun. And each time the person uh, that I played this game with was always very surprised and really loved it actually because they never did this and it's a really original way to start your date out so uh, or to play at a first date or a second date uh, and of course you can play this also online you know the times that we're going through right now uh, this is still a possible thing to play right if you've never tried this if you've never tried this card game yes I can only recommend it. I have, uh, this really is one of those things that really has improved my life, uh, the quality of my life, because I understand myself better, my own emotions, and am better at understanding other people's emotions, and have deepened so many relationships with this game. Yeah, check their websites. They have eight different editions. Uh, hopefully one of them can speak to you. And uh, it's a great investment to uh, improve your life. So uh, let me actually end this video with asking you a question. Let's take a random card. Um, what is your biggest hope for the future? Let me know in the comments down below.